Hello everybody and welcome to Project Octopath Traveler, the demo version. For those not in the know, Project Octopath Traveler is a very stupid name tied to this new video game from Square Enix, taking the beautiful 16-bit aesthetic, applying it to a 3D world, and it just looks beautiful. They've released a demo to, I guess, get information, see how people are liking the game so far, and hype it up. This is a big Switch exclusive RPG that I'm excited for. And uh, we're going to check out and see how it see how it shakes out. I've been into this ever since it was announced back in January. And this demo gives us, it looks like, two of the eight playable characters to choose from. Uh, Ulberic, the warrior. And Primrose, the dancer. So for this, I'm going to be choosing Ulberic and jump into it. Your name is Ulberic. And you are a warrior. You were once a proud knight until you lost king and kingdom in a bloody coup. Today you serve as a master at arms for a small mountain village. To what end do I swing my blade? The question tortured you night after restless night. Then one day, you overhear a name from your past, giving you new purpose. And we shall begin our adventure. I'm excited to see... What kind of story they are going to tell? If there are eight protagonists, would they all converge at the end? I wonder. Eight years ago. Help! Is he man or beast? He's but one, yet fights like a score! Mercy. That's the unbending blade of Hornburg. <laughs> Whatever that is, sure. Ulberic Eisenberg. You know my name, and so to business. Who will die first? <laughs> it's you who'll be dying. Look about you. We have the numbers. Enemy reinforcements on the left flag. Yo, the squad! To Sir Ulrich's side, men! The Blackguards have had their way for long enough! Ah! Ah. Matters not, we're done here! Sound the retreat! Withdraw to the rallying point! Can we talk about how the soundtrack is fire? Because it is. Whew! Sir Ulrich, Sir I feared we would be too late. And his full voice act. Now, I was expecting some of this not to be voiced. Proud. Nothing I couldn't handle. Can you hold this position? You make for His Majesty's camp, sir? Just so. Our foe attacked from both flanks. We have no orders from the crowd. This concerns me. His Majesty is well guarded, sir. Sir Earhart is with you. I know this. There is no stronger knight in the realm. Other than yourself, of course. With Sir Earhart to decide, surely His Majesty is in no danger. Perhaps not, but we must be certain. I would know how the battle unfolds. Besides, word from the king always lifts the men's spirits. As you wish, sir. We will hold this ground. Be safe, and may the gods guide your blade. And yours, Sir Ulbrich. His Majesty's own guard, slain to the last man. Who could have done such a thing? Erhart, where is Erhart? So, it was you. <sighs> Earhart, what is the meaning of this? I don't know, man. I think he might be evil. Okay, yeah. Yeah. What? What have you done? 
Ah! Have you not eyes? The king is dead by my hand. What madness? What treachery is this? <sighs> no madness here. We call it treachery, if you will. I thought you were a friend. A brother! Brothers indeed. How many times did you cross swords like this in the practice yards? And how many times have I told you? I see your every move, your every strike before it falls. As I see yours. Ah, but you've not seen everything. I saved one trick for the day I knew would come. And then we woke up, everything Always was fine. The same dream. Ah, okay. It was a dream. Ah, uh, Philip. What is it? Grivens! How'd you know it was me, sir? Oi! A knight must always be on his guard, even when he rests. But then... I am no knight. Not any longer. Hmm. A swordsman, that is. If you say so, sir. But there's lots of men what carry swords that can't do the half of what you do. Oi! I'm foreign! I want porridge! Oh, I almost forgot, sir. The headman's looking for you. Says he wants a word. He didn't say about what. Tell him I'm on my way. Yes, sir. I'll go on ahead and let him know, sir. He'll be in the square. You know the one. Yeah, the one shaped like a square, right? How many years has it been since Hornberg fell? My liege lost. My land in ruin. I wandered aimlessly. After a time, I came to this village. Here, I earn my keep as a hired sword, hiding behind another man's name, defending the villagers from bandit raids, teaching young men how to handle a blade. Not a glad. A man like me knows only the battlefield, worth only as much as the blade at my side and the arm that swings it. When that blade fails to save my sworn liege, what does that make me? For years, I've asked myself that question. No answer still. At least, not one I like. One thing I do know is that I owe this village a debt. A debt I intend to repay. But... That's enough brooding for one morning. <laughs> the headman's waiting. When you actively talk about your brooding. He's a smart man. There's a lot of vibration in this game. Like, it vibrates a bunch. Uh, Berg, sir. Oh, hey, how's it going? Who oh, there? Nothing to report. I see. Hmm? Ah, okay, so there is limited voice acting during these segments, which is fine. Two of you today? Usually only one does the round. Yes. There's brigands in the hills of late. Mm. Oh man, I hate brigands. Poor merchant gutted for his coin purse. Indeed. These are dangerous times. One can never be too careful. Hear the headbands looking for me? Just so. Should be over in the square. Now, if you'll excuse us, sir, morning patrol. Resume rounds. Hey, can I play the video game? Okay, we, we are in control. Oh, man! Oh, man, this menu's hot. Look at this. Can I mess with the settings here? Yeah, this is what I wanted. I want to go ahead and lower the music and sound just a little bit here so that the voice acting can, uh... 
be overpowered. We're gonna keep the dub, though, because I like dubs. This does have HD rumble, because I was talking about that. It vibrates even when someone opens a door. It's, uh, interesting. And that did keep my settings, which is good. Let's take a look at some of the stuff here. We got, uh, equipment, broadsword. Wow, they have a lot of weapon types. Seems that he can use swords, pole, pole arm, spear, and broadsword. Oh, this is a real-ass RPG. And then a bunch of spells or abilities. And then items. They're keeping it not Final Fantasy-esque, its own thing. Healing grapes. That's, that's good. And a little tutorials, but, um, that looks really nice. This is being made on Unreal 4. And, uh, Unreal 4 seems to be saving Square Enix, to be quite honest. Between... FF7 Remake, Kingdom Hearts 3, and this. And each game looking distinct. Even even stuff beyond Square Enix, you got like the new Shin Megami Tensei games being made on it. And thank you, Unreal. How goes it? They put me in charge of the militia. We got big control of the hips about the bum bum. Yeah, that was English. Ah, so we can, uh, you can hit B and then change from running to a normal walk. Well, Matt. This is Cobble Stun, a little home in the hills. <laughs> Indeed. I'm gonna offend someone. There's nothing for me this way. Fine. What's up, Robin Hood? Well, Matt. Will you save your game? Of course. This is a nice in-game menu. The minimalist design, I don't know, just the aesthetic of the boxes and everything. It just, everything, visual presentation and music, fantastic. Uh, let's see. Ah, there There's are. a cave deep in these hills, alright. Alright, this is an inn. Hmm, where's the square? This would tell me, right? Maybe the map? Nah. Nah, I'll just look around. Got you. Ah, okay, here we go. Oh! Ah, Berg, there you are! <laughs> Good morning. Eh, hey, what's see. up? Philip said you wanted to speak to me? Straight to the point. We've had reports of bandits in the hills. I see. Oh, I guess. We were hoping you would go kill them. <laughs> bandits suck. Please kill them. It's a predicament with them, you know, not being dead. Mm. Could you kill them? I wonder. Uh, as for the precise location of where they are so you can kill them, I don't know. Just kind of look around. Forgive me. Hmm. In the meantime, could you put the militia through the drills? Our men are keen. They don't know a pommel from a pike. What the fuck's a pommel? I think that's part of the problem. As you wish. Consider it done. <laughs> Alright. You've been pestering me for weeks to ask. <laughs> Alright, fine. This boy has pluck and ambition. And he could find a worse man to look up to than Berg here. Aww. Ever since my husband died in the war. You know. Hmm. It's just the boy's getting to that age when he needs a father. Oh, I didn't mean to say for us to hook up or anything. Your boy is already credit to team. It'd be an honor to train him. Alright, train the lad well and see that he does his mother proud. As you wish. I'll try and not let him die like everyone else who goes around me. Path actions. Each of your eight heroes can interact with the world in a unique way to forge their own path. Uh, the warrior Ulbrich can challenge townspeople to a duel. The other hero of this demo, the dancer Primrose, can allure townspeople and lead them to various locations. 
Hey, what's up, man? You want a challenge? You want to go? That was small UI-wise. They should probably make that a little bigger. It's always an honor to train the warrior of your skill, sir. On your guard. A battle fair and square to arms. Ooh. Let us fight with honor. Exploiting weaknesses. Exploit your foe's weakness to turn the tide. Attack your foe's weak point to lower their shield points. Reduce shield points to zero to break your foe. The warrior Ulbrich is prof proficient in both swords and pole arms. Switch weapons with the D-pad left and right to gain the upper hand. How about you? Okay, so regular turn-based stuff. I saw that there was boosting in this. Where you can boost to make your damage better. Yeah, like that. Two hits, baby. Enter boost mode to augment your powers and wreak havoc on your foes. With the R button. Break your foes to drastically reduce their defense. Press the R button to enter boost mode. And the potency of your attacks and abilities will surge. Boost points accumulate at the rate of one per turn. You can spend up to three to boost your character to three levels of power. Out of my way. Yeah. He's broken. You are done, my friend. Okay, that he's gone. I thought this was training. He's dust. He's vapor. It's over. Albrick's a menace. It's no good, sir. My body just reformed. Oh, man. You're too hesitant. It's important to protect yourself. You'll never win a fight if you're a fucking bad. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Oh, man. Hey, fight me. Always ready to spar, sir. On your guard. Let us fight with honor. How about you? <laughs> wow, already broken? Already broken, my boy? Well, this is not gonna help you then. How about you? My fate is unbending! Ah, those effects look so good. All you need to do is give me 16-bit sprites with Dragon Ball Z level fucking effects. Actually, the effects work more of like a ufotable uh, anime, like <laughs> like Fate. Uh, a simple counter blow quickly strikes you down. You must remember balance on all things. I see. Or just pull it, pulling all of your all of your power into one attack, like I did, and then that would that would actually uh, work. That said, if you fought side by side, you might complement each other well. Indeed. Just we were thinking so. about that. Better than the sums of our parts. <laughs> <laughs> the power of teamwork has been obtained with these two. What's this? It's a fine idea. Train together, you'll be capable soldiers one day. Yes. I thank you. I see. <laughs> hey, me next! Ah, yes, this child that we promised no. to train. You need to work on your form. Hey. Mm. Do the drills I showed you, because if I try to normally attack you, you will not come back. You will be so done. I see. Not many boys your age take to the sword so quickly, and I'm trained by Cher. <laughs> Crivens! <laughs> the fuck does um, that word mean? Uh... Crivens, oi! Mother looked after me ever since, all on her own. Can you please just fuck my mother? <laughs> <laughs> She's a lucky woman, no interest. Hey, thanks! I gotta get stronger for my mom. That was good. I, too, had someone I needed to protect, but then I was put in an impossible situation and it all fell apart. 
I'm gonna go ahead and blame myself because really, this is a game made by Japanese people and they care about honor and stuff. You got it. So not only does it go into knight's armor, but it's also Japanese knight honor. Mayhap I make around the village. Ah! Brigands, we're under attack! Are you trying to tell me that every JRPG must begin with a village being attacked? You are correct. You are correct. That is how all of these should work if you're a JRPG in the 90s. We must. We must do what we can. These dirty peasants don't know their place. Do you- you only- There's a lot more villagers here than just three dudes. Ah. Do your worst! That's right. Damn it! Well, they did a good parry. Look! I swear on my blade. Good work, men. Did well to hold them off. But I'll take over from here. And the who the hell's a yo supposed to be? I'm the one of eight main characters. Mm. Oh. He's got a fancy sword. I know you're a sort hedge knight. I've caught a lot of you. The hell? I appreciate that they all have different colored bandanas. Indeed. I'm but a common hedge knight with no name to speak of. But if you come looking for trouble, you found it. Let us fight with oh, that art looks so good. You gotta keep that aesthetic from, from old Final Fantasies of every enemy being bigger than you, because I don't know. <laughs> Let's try the pole arm. No such luck, I'll switch it out. Oh, these guys got some... they got some moves. That's the ticket. My blade is unbending. You will die. Okay, they won't die. They actually... Wow, you have a... You are very... A very strong boy. That was a little problematic. How about this? There we go, we have full healing. I'm gonna try and not die to the first true fight of the game here. Also, I hate that I missed. How is one of them not dead yet? This might be a problem. There we go. Alright, things are gonna get a little easier now. I think not. Let's show off our defense. It does indeed guard both attacks, like every attack during the turn. Alright, it's dangerous to go in now. How about this? What are our abilities? Uh, attack all foes with a sword. Unleash a powerful sword attack on a single foe. But of course. How about maximum power flurry? Oh! Whoa! Oh, we, we in there, boys. Let's do level slash. Level three. All right, I didn't notice the abilities at first. Now this is where this is where this shit starts to matter. With each battle, I grow strong. Level up. You. You can handle a blade, I. But this ain't be the end of it. When the boss is about this, you're a dead man. I mean, we'll see about that, won't we? I learned how to use abilities. Hey, come on! 
Oh no, Philip's being kidnapped. Oh, Berg, sir, they took him from me. Oh, damn it all. I am sorry. There's so many of them. Doesn't matter now. We have to save the lad. Let me see. We know where they are now, holed up in a cave deep in the mountains. Indeed. Let's go. God only knows what they'll do to him. Hmm. Wait. What? Sir, we have to do something. No. If you leave now, who will protect the women and children when the thieves return? You'll be playing into their hands. But... I see. I'll go after the boy alone what? because that is my role in this. Mm. You stay in guard, at least until you're sure they're not coming back. Oh. You're the boy's our only hope. Can you do this, Berg? As you wish. Consider it done. Please bring him back. I swear on my blade. Alright, we have ourselves a plan. We can save our progress, of course, by using the nice lad up here, which we will. Well, Matt. Alright. It's like, please don't turn it off, sir. It would be dangerous. We have a little bit of we have a little bit of spending cash. Can we uh Oh oh it just opens the menu in here, that's what confused me. Oh uh, we can buy something. Healing grapes. How about weapons? This would give me a sizable increase in power. Purchase. Okay. Let's go ahead and equip the long sword over the broadsword. Uh, the vibrations with the HD rumbles actually kind of fucking with me a little bit. I'm like, jeez. There, we'll just go ahead and uh, sell the old one because that's what good people do. And we have about 205 left uh, in our spending. Let's see, any good uh, diminishing returns on a lot of this stuff except for the iron armor, but we can't afford that. Um, but what I will do is buy three grapes. Alright. Seems to me that we could just head out. Ah, we head up through the upper right. I was trying to think of how the, how the bad guys, the brigands, got in here when this seems uh, to be the, the only entrance. Are... But alright, they're holed up in the cave. Do we have a world map? Got a wumma? The wumma -ma, 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 ma We do not. It just kind of takes us here. Though this is a demo, who knows how how much this is fleshed out later. Picked up another set of grapes. Alright, I like this, like, the 3D effects here. It just, just looks kind of like a pop-up book, in a way. And it has random battles. Fight with honor. Oh, if you insist. Ah, how about you? How about a level slash? Alright, do another one of those. With feeling. And they're stunned, so they can't actually do anything. One more for good measure. I'm really feeling this. This feels like kind of like what almost like what I am sets and it wants to do on a bigger scale of being a hearkening back to the classic RPGs of old. But the presentation is just miles above. And the fact that there's going to be eight playable characters makes this really engaging of like, hey, we have a lot of different stories to tell. Which, uh, at this point, seems very, very exciting. And it seems like uh, the, that guy, the bird, might be weak to the pole arm, so we'll switch abilities here. Attack a single foe with a pole arm, then gain first strike on the next turn. 
Let's use level 3 Spearhead. Hoo -hoo! You're gone. Nice. He's stunned. He's almost there. Next turn we got this. Oh no, he's holding on. He's holding on? Okay, this dude's fucking ripped. That's it. <laughs> he's like, no! No, stop! He's already dead! GG, fam. GG. There is treasure. Are you just always well, the that. safe person? You are. Thank you. Uh, my other question, is there any type of nonsense for whenever you level up where you, like, unlock things? Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's classic, hey, level up, we're gonna up all your stats for you. Mm, this person is not, like, to accept my challenge. I should seek out another. Oh, I wanted to kill the save guy. <laughs> Before we go and venture forth, a fire soul stone. Help menu on it? Deals fire damage to all foes. We're probably gonna exploit that. Okay. Ah, damn, right before we got into it. We were ambushed. There's nothing we could have done. I think I shall, not. I shall lead off with a defensive stance. I shall continue with a defensive stance. I'm about to go fucking ham in a second. There we go, a nice seasoned amount of damage. Finish! The thrill of the fight! The thrill! Oh. Look who's come. Have you lost something, Hedge Knight? Mm. Move aside before I cut you in two. Oh. You have courage, I'll give you that. Just who are you, anyway? Never seen no Hedge Knight swing a blade the way you do. Indeed. Then you'll step aside if you know what's good for you. The hell? You're on our land now, Hedge Knight. We give the orders here. <laughs> you have skill, but you're a man like any other, and you'll bleed as red. Get him! So are we fighting all five at once? Fight with honor. Nah, it looks like we might might have multiple waves though. Nah, right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to be vigilant here. Um, might as well go for it. There, are a couple stuns. That's what we need. Disrupt them so they don't get as many turns. How about you? Nice. Alright, their stun is gonna end next turn. Okay, this is when we hit him with the big shit. One, two, three. Yeah! <laughs> oh, you're done. You're done, fam. Excellent. And a level up. Mm. Be strong, lad. I'm coming for you. It's the classic thing of eight people attack you, but there's only like two or three in the in the group. Uh, fair enough thing. And it auto-healed me, because that was a bigger encounter. Into the dungeon we go. Ooh, the brigand's den. Oh, this looks so cool. They're like, we gotta show off our lighting porn that we've created with this. Oh, the fire looks so good, too. Let's go back and get this treasure. More grapes. Let Who dare? With honor. Who dare? Oh, 
Let's see. Oh, I didn't even realize. Shit, we have buffs? Abide. Oh my god. We have buffs? This game's fucking great. They just give me the farm on this one. Oh uh, yeah, no, we, these guys aren't weak to spears, my bad. Or pole arms. It's okay. He'll go in a second. Excellent. I appreciate any JRPG where the enemy, like, just gets blown up or just disintegrates. Love that in Golden Sun where you just hear them scream as they crumble into gray dust. I'm not a psychopath, I swear. What is up here? Answer me this. What do we got? Jewel of Protection. Oops. A jewel that bestows protection upon the bearer. Guess we would put that in equipment. Yeah, we would. We can have up to two accessories. That gives us five elemental defense and five physical defense. Cool. Ah, crap. It's a good day for bat. It's a bat! How about you? Try this. As expected. And you're stunned? How about that again? The hits keep on coming. With each battle, I grow stronger. That's a good quote. Each battle I go stronger. Is this correct? I'm gaining experience. Some may argue it's like if you don't level, you're not stronger. And then you're losing health, so you are kind of becoming weaker, but hey. Well met. Well met. I don't know why they let me in here like this, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we're gonna have to heal up here. And these plums, these inspiriting plums will restore my much-needed SP. Well, it seems we've caught up to them. Oi. Do tell me about this friend of yours. Knows how to fight, does he? That's right! He's so cool! Oi! He's the best in the world! He'll kill you! And then I'll eat porridge and berries and... Casey's being offensive to Europe! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, they think it's funny. Hey, come on! He really strong! <laughs> you hear that? He thinks he's strong! <laughs> yeah. This ain't a fairy tale, boy. Real knights don't piddle away their days in the company of swineherds. <laughs> if he's a knight from the stories, a damsel in distress might serve as better bait than a boy. <laughs> hey, come on! Yeah, once Sir Berg is through with you, you're done. Stow your tongue. <gasps> Boss? Aye. Reckon the boy's got more courage than a lot of you and more wits to boot. So less yammering and more sharpening your stabbers. But... It's good to see the boss at least has a good head on his shoulders. <laughs> even if we are gonna cleave it straight off. <laughs> this could get interesting though, if he does show. Always had a soft spot for men with more courage than sense. Yeah. Aye. Like the boy here. What do you say, laddie? Care to join our little family? I was looking for men with pluck. Not on your life! <laughs> you hear that, men? The boy says he's too good for banditry. I don't know why I make him sound like he's from Brooklyn when he has a gruff sound. Hey, forget about it! You want this cannoli? <laughs> hmm? What is it, boss? Right on time. I was kind of I can't. Sorry, I'm late. I just wanted to. I wanted to listen to some stuff and watch the cutscene. I have voice acting now. Hi, look, it's the mighty Sir Berg in the flesh. He is mad. 
And how do you get in here anyway? Where are the lookouts? Bleeding in the dirt, last I saw. <laughs> 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 Stay back! Did, did, did he just... He carried the boss's blow! Hang me, but I ain't never seen no one do that before. You're quick, all right. And strong. Clearly, no common hedge knight, are you? Just as you are no common brigand. A blade. Like it, do you? It just so happens to be a present. It's all connected. Oh, uh -huh. you know the man, do you now? So it is his blade. As if I needed another reason to cut you down where you stand. How do you know Earhart, rogue? Speak, or I'll slice your throat. Ah, you've got a score to say. Is that it? I can see it in your eyes. They blaze like fire when you said his name. Look, I don't know what passed between you and Earhart. But if you're looking to ask questions of me, my good sir, you'll have to earn the right! Oh, it's bot time. Holy! <laughs> He's a very big boy. Okay. Let's start by buffing. We're gonna do a, uh, we're gonna do triple spread attack while buffed. Oh my god, he fucking hurts. That is absurd. How about this? We have a problem. If he does that every turn, I don't know how I, uh... Okay, he doesn't do that skill every turn. Good, because I was wondering how I would get out of this mess. Our attack has been buffed. Level slash max. Excellent. Let's see, does he do it every other turn? Doesn't look like it, but he feels... I feel like he's due for another. We'll heal. Alright, lucky. Nothing, uh, nothing terrible here. Another level slash. Not the best, but still pretty strong. Excellent. How about you? Hmm, doesn't seem to be weak to the sword, so we're gonna try one of our spear moves. Bide. Looks like he buffed himself. I'm gonna this? heal. And I'm gonna go ahead and heal again. How about you? How about this? We're only gonna get one turn of our buffed attack now. Go for it! Yeah! Fucking over a thousand damage! Hit him where it hurts, man. Alright, first up, we're gonna want to use the plum. Alright, he's using Bide. I think not. De use that hot defense. Okay, that just fucking hurts like hell no matter what I do. How about this? How about this, in case you were wondering? Does this just make me super powered? I guess it would. I would have to assume that the mechanic would work in case of support spells as well. How about you? All right. Max power buff spear. Ho <laughs> ho! Alright, he hasn't used Bide, so I know he's not going to do the move yet. So go again. Alright, next turn he's going in. Might as well heal now. 
I was good to do that. He's doing like 200 a shot now. That's real bad. How about this? In case we push him to a phase where he's going to use that move more often, we got to keep our health topped off. Alright, making it count. Yes! Wow, double level up. Victory is ours. Mm. Now, I will have my answers. How do you know Erhart? I. We fought alongside each other as all, served together in a band of mercenaries. He was already an old hand when I signed up. Helped me out, showed me the ropes. Mm -hmm. The cell sword. Where is he now? <laughs> Damned if I know, when our group disbanded, we went our separate ways. After that, I drifted from run town to the next, tried one trade, then another. But swinging a blade's the only thing that's ever come natural to me. So here I am, times are lean, and a man's gotta make a living. Anyone could use a sword arm like yours. You could protect the people, instead of stealing from them. I... I could, but honest work takes more wits than the gods saw fit to bless me with. Never meant to do anyone no harm, but life doesn't always give us a choice in the matter. <sighs> choice or no, you must answer for your crimes. I... I knew the score, but I got my men to think about two. The Hedge Knight has the right of it. Got more than enough blood on my hands. Lived by the sword and... Well, you know how it goes. Man has to own up. No. Enough blood's been spilled. Surrender, I will see you and your men are not harmed. Mm -hmm. You do me a kindness, Hedge Knight. So I'll do you one in return. I told you I didn't know where Erhart is, and I don't. But I know someone who might. I. Gustav's his name. Sir Gustav. Some call him the Black Knight or other such fussed up nonsense. Erhart taught us both how to use the sword back in the mercenary band. You should find him in Victor's Hollow. <laughs> and this man will tell me where Erhart is? I. He might. Then again, he might not. Still, if you want to find him that much, I reckon it's worth trying. I can see it in your eyes. Hm. They were dead like a fish. But the moment you saw my blade, they came to life. <sighs> dead? Have I truly been... <laughs> but what does a common thief know of men's souls? Look! Yeah, we did it. That's right. Berg, I could have swear I've heard that gods be good, Eisenberg. <laughs> Should have known the way your eyes lit up. You're no hedge knight. Oh, Ulbrich Eisenberg. Yeah, that's me. <gasps> They're like, ah, geez, you're important. Huh? What? The unbending blade? Mm. Oh, damn it. <clears throat> Everyone what? thought I was dead, but I was not. Um. Are you a real knight? No. <laughs> not anymore. That was a long time ago. We've kept your mother waiting long enough. You got it. Ugh. After that. This village has been good to me, but it's time to move on. I shall find Erhart, so that I might find the reason I wield this blade. To find a man named Gustav, and God's willing, Erhart himself. Indeed. Victor's Hollow, the man said, and that's where I must go. I had stopped believing that I would one day don these clothes again. 
The journey will be a long one, and I've no more reason to tarry. So you truly mean to leave us? You have shown me nothing but kindness. I am forever in your debt. Oh, no. It is we who owe you, friend. Were the choice mine to make, you would stay with us forever. But it is your life to live. We won't ever forget all you've done for us, sir. The next time any dirty brigands come after us, we'll give them a good kick in in your name. We're no knights, sir. But you've taught us well. We can protect our home, or at least. Glad to hear it. I'm sorry, sir. Philip, he wouldn't come. Didn't want you to see him crying, most like. I understand. Tell the boy I'm counting on him to grow strong. And to look after his dear mother. Thank you, sir. When you've done whatever it is you must do, pray, come back and visit us. No matter how far your journey takes you, you will always have a home here. Thank you. And with that, I had best... Philip! <sighs> it's alright. It was a good blow, lad. Getting strong. Keep training while you're away, and and then when you come back, I'll I'll be even stronger, and then then maybe I could. I lad, I'll get stronger too, and we'll see each other again. You have my word. You you better not forget. A knight... A knight always keeps his word. And thus, Ulbrich the Knight set out on a new journey. He would find his former comrade, Erhart, and ask him why he did what he did, and mayhap, he would discover that which he had lost. The reason why he wields his blade. What fate awaits him? Only time can answer that. Thank you for playing. We hope you enjoyed the demo. This was but the opening chapter of Ulbricht's tale. What y wonders and dangers await him in the vast world of adventure. You can join eight heroes on their journeys in the full version of Octopath Traveler. And yeah, that seemed pretty obvious that Ulbrich was played by Pat Patrick Sates. He, um, very good. He's a very, he's a very good voice actor. Congratulations, you've completed Ulbrich's path. Venture to neighboring regions to meet another hero. Visit the desert town of Sunshade, where another hero, the dancer Primrose, awaits. Strike out on a new adventure. I guess you can just meet with them and then, you know, they let you just do whatever you want in this demo, I guess. That is, this was a good demo. This is an awesome way to do this, I think. Like, good presentation, great music. The gameplay mechanics for this are really strong. Uh, you, I feel like, if I remember it, this is what the Bravely Default team has been working on. So it's very clear that they know how to capture the classic feel of an RPG, I think. And this game's just really good. Uh, I'm excited next year to be able to play the full version. It, it is providing me what I wanted from the game I Am Setsuna, if people remember that. Where that game tried to harken back to classic games, but its budget, I feel like, was too low. And visually, its presentation was lacking, because the only real thing it had to offer was, you know, a sn snowy areas in a way. Mostly snowy areas, and then the piano only music, which I guess fits what they were kind of going for, but it didn't gel with me. This, however, fantastic score filled with voice acting, great particle effects, 
this is something I'm totally down with. 10 out of 10 demo. Loved every second of it. And uh, I think we're going to close out with that. Uh, I don't have any plans on doing the other character that you can play as for the demo personally. Because um, I plan on playing this game, uh, hopefully, as a Let's Play next year. And if these are the opening chapters for these characters, I'd rather not know a single damn thing about the other character. Because I'll have to replay them again. So, personally, not really interested in experiencing that. But I am so excited to play as the other characters. Because to realize, you could totally fit an entire game just based on this one guy. But we have eight characters. Finally, the name Octopath Traveler makes sense. You're traveling along the path of eight individuals. Will they converge in the same way the games like Odin Sphere will? Um, I kind of hope so. It could be really interesting how they do that, but I have a lot of confidence. Once again, Square Enix is kicking ass this generation. That being said, thank you so much for watching this one-off demo video. And I will see you next time. Make sure to subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it, and maybe support me over on the Patreons as well, if you're interested in that. With that said, goodbye. <laughs>